Hi, my name is Christina Polzine, and I'm the Business Account Manager for Hummingbird Technologies in Canada. I've currently worked as an agronomist for the last 15 years, and have recently joined the Hummingbird Technologies team in Canada. I'd like to spend the next couple minutes to introduce you to some of the product offerings that Hummingbird Technology has. Hummingbird Technologies was founded in 2016 in the United Kingdom. Since then, it has um, expanded to over five continents in 10 countries. A primary objective of the Hummingbird team is to look at providing advanced cropped insights through our remote sensing imagery analytics. A large proportion of our Hummingbird team uh, resides over in the UK and is composed of um, several um, data scientists and computer engineers. The growth of Hummingbird technologies over the last uh, four years um, has been through a number of investment um, companies to help grow, and one of those being um, TELUS Agriculture. So Hummingbird Technologies has a number of product offerings in the remote sensing analytics. This can include using remote sensing imaging to develop VR application maps. Um, it may be using low resolution satellite imagery on a regional scale to understand different crop type classification. Um, even furthermore, um, there's been, I think, a large amount of interest in using remote sensing to develop yield prediction maps or um, even evaluating sustainability measures such as um, soil health, for example. Um, at a more kind of microanalytic scale, um, using you know, UAVs, for example, you know, we can start um, evaluating specific uh, plant ideas plant identification type of um, scenarios, and that tends to be more high value crops. So we may be interested in sizing um, certain crops like lettuce or broccoli, um, and that's where some of these tools have a great um, impact in. The last piece is just being able to integrate um, our platform in with other um, data players and creating that seamless transfer of information. So among the Hummingbird technology products, we have a platform that houses all our remote sensing um, data th for fields throughout growing seasons. So I've provided a snapshot of a, uh, just a platform um, of, what that, um, of what it looks like. And so here we've got an example um, where we can look at a specific season, a specific crop, and we can search within those um, specific fields. Um, in the platform, you have the ability to add specific crops or to add fields, um, and this is all uh, can be done manually um, through the user interface. There are multiple analysis layers that include an NDVI, a photographic imagery, crop variability, or green area index. We've got ability to compare um, different time series um, as well, and this can be important when we're looking at maybe fields that have a bit of cloud. So there is a cloud detection tool, and this can be um, identified when we've got a little cloud um, icon on our survey ribbon at top, and a little message will pop up to give you an indication of what percentage is under cloud cover. Um, the cloud masks, um, the cloud detection tool just masks out the cloud, um, so the analysis isn't distorted. Uh, the kind of, you know, I guess reasoning behind keeping cloud data within is that um, even while we have um, you know, Sentinel-2 imagery that's providing that um, three to four day turnaround on images, um, we may go through a period where we've got you know, extensive cloud cover. So it's nice to have um, some options to still have data in there that may have a little bit of cloud cover. So as I mentioned that one of the analysis layers is a normalized difference vegetation index. Um, the uh, kind of purpose um, of having that layer in is to provide um, the ability to compare healthy and non-healthy regions of the field. Um, this gives you as a grower or as a user of the platform, the ability to kind of monitor any variability that can occur during the growing season um, during uh, the main kind of peaks of growth. 
Um, we use our own NDVI transformation rather than that of um, software, and that kind of keeps the um, robust calibration of the data when you compare it to other image sources. And so, um, you know, using NDVI um, can provide some good insights into um, areas of the field that aren't uh, producing very well um, and to start kind of going into those areas and understand what's limiting production. In addition to uh, being able to track and monitor um, different fields and their uh, level of NDVI and variability, we have the ability to build our own variable rate maps in the platform. And so the, um, I guess, kind of the construction of those applications are based on NDVI measurements where we can, for example, maybe look at applying higher rates of fungicide um, to um, areas of the field that are um, got bi more biomass, for example, or, um, you know, conversely, not applying any fungicide or any type of product to areas where there's very low, low or poor production. And so this is kind of a way where growers can work with their agronomist to develop um, unique application plans. So one of the kind of final pieces, and I think one of our most valuable tools within our platform, is our field leaderboard and benchmarking tool. So the leaderboard allows us to sort fields by crop or variety. Um, we can narrow in on, say, the specific um, seeding date, but we can rank fields by their average NDVI. Um, and so it gives us some insight um, based on, you know, fields that might be producing poorly that um, should be tracking along a bit better. And so it brings our attention to those fields. Um, similarly, the, the benchmarking tool allows us to specifically kind of key in on certain fields and how they're tracking along throughout the growing season. So here's an example of some spring wheat that was grown in 2020. And so through the benchmarking tool, we can compare four fields throughout the growing season and track and monitor changes in that growth pattern. And this is a great way to assess um, a crop either during the growing season to see how it might be comparing to, um, as it's growing or to kind of come back um, and kind of understand why there might be some variability on a field and why it maybe um, didn't yield as much. And so, you know, this type of data um, can be used, um, I think, to help us manage some of our crops at harvest time or to um, give some insight into just, you know, their, their productive capabilities. If you have any more questions about Hummingbird technology and our products and uh, product offerings, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can visit our website at hummingbirdtech.com or um, we have recently partnered with Farm at Hand to make this imagery available in Canada. And so you can visit their farmathand.com website um, and look under their partners tab. Any specific questions can be um, directed to Hummingbird Canada at farmathand.com. I thank you for your time and have a great day.